<laughs> Hi, I'm Lucy. Welcome to my gallery. My kitchen. My scullery. Scullery? <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be making chocolate oatmeal peanut butter cookies but you don't have to bake and they're gluten free. Woohoo! <laughs> From the peanut gallery behind me, the camera woman is my daughter Erica. Hi! And so the ingredients that we need, a half a cup of salted butter, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, one cup of light brown sugar, firmly packed, one cup of granulated sugar, a half a cup of whole milk, two-thirds cup of creamy peanut butter, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and three cups of instant oats. To begin, you want to warm up your pan. And I have the pan at about a number three if you're using gas, probably between low and medium if you're using electric. And we start off by using our butter. And you want your butter softened, not melted, but softened, when you put it in the pan. Room temperature, leave it out for a couple of hours, that works good. Okay, the next ingredient to add, once your butter is nice and melted, then you want to add the cocoa. Once you get a creamy consistency, then you want to add the milk. You have to do it until it's nice and creamy. <laughs> now, add the sugars. Okay, once you've mixed in the two sugars, then you want to increase the heat till about I'm going to say seven and a half to eight. You don't want to go too hot. I'm going to go seven actually here on the gas. And on an electric stove, cook it um, halfway between medium and high. But while this is uh, heating up, you want to make sure to heat it up slowly. You don't want to burn it. And with the way that the sugars react to the heat, you want it to come to a boil slowly. So you want to continue to stir constantly. Then when it gets to a roiling boil, then you want to cook it at the roiling boil for one minute. Okay, immediately take it off and add the peanut butter. Look at all that gooey goodness. 
I think it looks like dog poop. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> it won't look like it's the normal. If you don't want to put the vanilla extract in right away, you want to let the chocolate and the peanut butter cool off slightly so you don't burn. And last of all, the oats. So at this stage, what you could be doing is you could be laying out wax paper onto a counter or onto a cookie sheet and plopping these down and letting them cool and they'll cool into the shape that you plop them down on. Me, I personally like to make them into bars and pouring, pouring it just straight into a square cake pan. I guess I gotta hold it like this. Huh? <laughs> Awkward. Mm -hmm. Let's get enough of the camera. The next and last thing that you want to do before you start eating your cookies, and actually, secret, I like eating these hot as well, but you want to put them in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes and let them cool. Then when they come out, you have yummy deliciousness. Okay, after 20 minutes, you take them out of the refrigerator, cut them up, and enjoy them. Thank you for watching our channel and this particular video. I had fun making it with my daughter. Hats off to you. Bye now. Both the brown and the white at the same oh, time. Oh, my zipper. <laughs> I can't. Look, he was like that the whole time. Yeah, but you were facing forward, right? No. <laughs> Let me get out. Let me get out of the shot.